said they wish and I wish and I wish and I wish and they wish and on me. Yeah. Good evening, YouTube. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Well, in today's video, it's kind of going to be like a vlog. Uh, right now, we're at the end of the video, basically. So, now it's time for a little story time. Without further delay, uh, the story time is going to be over the course of several days. Maybe over the course of about a week and a half, two weeks. So, I went to three different scrapyards looking for interior seats for my now facelifted Mark VI Jetta. So, seats, you say. So, why do I need new seats? Do I currently have seats? Yes, I do currently have the stock seats the car came with. But what happened was, I was missing one simple and small important function. And that was the function of lumbar support. My Jetta S seats didn't come with any lumbar support. Apparently on the SE, I think, leather trims and the SEL leather trims, you would get lumbar support in the leather interior. Primarily, just only on the driver's side seat. All right, so my car being a Jetta S, not leather, I didn't have uh, any lumbar support at all. So it's been uh, at least four years, roughly, since I won the car back to the 14, now 2018. So four years now, my back has been suffering a little bit because no, uh, no lumbar support. So I saw one day back in 2015 when the face of car started coming out that there was class seats with lumbar support available. But you know, back in 2015 when the cars were brand new, I couldn't really afford to buy these seats at a you know decent price. They'd be full price. Or like maybe like a grand or two to buy them from dealers brand new. So I waited until now, 2018, three years later, to start hitting up scrapyards and possibly getting these seats for dirt cheap. So this video basically entails me getting Mark VI Jetta facelift 015, 016, 017 seats, cloth, heated, with lumbar support, just primarily on the driver's side. And that's what happened. That I always check uh, carpart.com. It's car-part.com. First, to make my scrapyard purchases, usually. Otherwise, I'd go to a local Volkswagen scrapyard called the Source for Volkswagen, the Source for VW. But uh, I went there a few times this past year, like let's say a couple months ago, and they never have new facelift uh, cars. They're available as uh, scrap cars. So you never can get parts from there, basically. So I had to use a different source this time, carpart.com. And I looked for, you know, class seats of an 015, 016, 017 Jetta Mark VI facelifts. And the whole list of cars came up, obviously. And in some... Some instances, some searches, you'll find these pictures of the cars. So I would go to the pictures of the cars of each listing, and I would see which car has the exact same seats that I want to purchase. So at first, I came across this one uh, scrapyard that had this car, and the seats, there wasn't really any picture of them though. But I still took a chance to say, hey, let's take a chance, buy the seats, get them shipped out to the scrapyard, locally here in Bradford, Ontario, which is kind of an hour away from me. And I, I just drive by there, see them. If I don't like them, I just decline on the purchase and say, nope, I want to cancel my order, send them right back, it should be refund. So that's what this first scrapyard clip, basically whole, you know, scene entails. I'd be going to the first scrapyard without seeing any pictures of the seats and determining whether they're the right ones or the wrong ones. All right, after that, uh, you know, did a bit of a, not really a nightmare, but a little bit of, you know, bad experience. I decided to forget the no picture, uh, you know, listings and go directly for only the picture listings. So that's exactly what I did. The next uh, scrapper that I went to, I find the listing online, had a lot of pictures of it. They, they were the correct seats I went to get. So I go there and you'll see this scrapyard was a complete and total nightmare. Oh my goodness. I was pulling my hair out by the end of this, uh, you know, whole fiasco with this uh, scrapyard. Oh my God. And learning from my two previous scrapyard experiences, on the last scrapyard, I finally learned some hard lessons to be more organized and direct with the scrapyard. Listen, hey, I want to know this second right now, is it possible to take out these seats or not? Either by finding out myself or by simply directly asking them. Please don't waste my time. Let me know right now if I can get the seats out of this car right now or not. And without further ado, I'll let you guys go now. 
and start to watch the video. And at the end of the video, you'll see if I got the seats or I didn't get the seats or only got half of the seats. And I hope for my case and sake, I got all the seats and installed them and everything. Now let's begin the story time. Well guys, we finally made it to the place. It's LKQ. Right there is the front door. So we're gonna head on in now and see if our Mark VI Face of Jetta seats are here or not. I called the lady this morning. She says, yep, come on in, they're here. So let's go see if they're talking nonsense or if they're actually here or not. Here goes nothing. Parts pickup. LKQ, customer pickup. You see the door. Well, here we go, guys. Well, here are the seats. Well, guys, it was a bust. These seats are the ones I'm after. They didn't have lumbar support, so they weren't the right seats, basically. Well, LKQ slash Keystone, it was a blast, guys. We'll see you next time. Walk back to the car and head home. Back at home now guys, a little bit disappointed that the seats I bought weren't the right ones. They were close, they had heat, uh, there were 15 seats, but they weren't the ones I wanted. The ones I wanted actually were the ones with the lumbar support, and these ones did not have that feature, the lumbar support feature. So in the end, I declined on the uh, purchasing of these seats. I said, nope, I don't want them, not interested, send them back to the scrapyard warehouse, and refund me the money and that was it on to the next set of seats guys yep we'll find them eventually we'll get there this is the second day attempting to buy these seats well that's it guys now we're on our way to the second i repeat number two Auto Recycler slash Scrapyard to find our new seats. So here goes nothing. Cold start. Oh yeah, welcome to Walter again. So guys, now we're into the freeway. Yep, on our way we're still. Right in 400 meters. To the uh, second scrapyard to pick up these seats. Let's hope our time now won't be wasted, and we'll walk away there with something. Prepare to bear right. Skybridge, guys, the Skybridge. Oh my goodness. Like Ontario. Well, guys, now we're at only 54 kilometers left to go. Then we'll get to the second scrapyard. Hey, look, Scooby Doo Doo. So, guys, we're almost here. 12 kilometers. St. Catharines. Please take the next exit. Here now guys, Glendale Auto Parts, our second scrapyard run. There's the Mark 6 parked up there. Well, here goes nothing to go inside and see the kind of seats. After talking to the sales rep for a few minutes, I finally was able to locate the car, and here it is. A red 2016 Volkswagen Jetta. 
I think it was like an SE upper level one. And here is its interior and the seats I'm looking at purchasing. And after taking a quick glance at it, I saw that these seats do in fact have the lumbar support. So these are definitely the seats I was looking at purchasing the whole time. I was so happy and thrilled to finally find them. Well, that's it guys. We've hopefully successfully secured a set of seats. And soon enough we'll have them, hopefully. That is it. The face of the Mark VI Jetta just sitting, waiting on obtaining these brand new seats with lumbar support. Haha, -ha, the food vlog, guys, it's back. Today we have a Hawaiian slice with garlic butter on it from a place called Tito's Pizza out here in St. Catharines, Ontario. Yummy! Goodness gracious, certified used vehicles available as well as as is project cars are also available. Wow. Well, that's it guys, great success. We got the whole interior, the front seats and the back seats. I currently only have the driver's side front seat in here and they're going to be shipping out the passenger side front seat, but the whole back seat, I got all pieces. Yep, thumbs up guys, thumbs up. Success. Oh my goodness. I'm going to love this interior so much. Well, now we're leaving this second scrapyard, guys. With a big smile on our faces. We're so happy. We actually got all the parts. Oh my goodness. This is going to be an awesome interior build. Let me tell you guys. Let me tell you. On the drive home back to Toronto, I stopped by a rest stop place here. It's called Casablanca. It also features a Tim Hortons cafe. So I quickly grabbed a small French vanilla coffee. Mmm, delish. Dare I say drink vlog question mark here i am on the sky bridge eastbound climbing up it going towards the big metal upper part of it it's the casino bus guys the casino bus oh my goodness look at all this toronto traffic guys oh my goodness goes all the way down the road well that's what I get for driving on the highway at 6 p.m. on a Friday night yep bad idea bad idea look at that lineup oh my goodness safe and sound now at my new house in eastern GTA Ontario here let's take a quick look at what's inside my garage oh my goodness and there we have it this is where I'm storing my new seats, my new MK6 facelifted 016 Jetta seats. This is my current stock seat, and this is it with all the screws taken off. It just flops right over. Oh my goodness, look at that. One can say I need a full interior detail. Oh my goodness, look. Here's the driver's side, front, with the stock seat taken out of it. Just look at that mess, oh my goodness. If you have heated seats, it was simply just four bolts and four connectors. The brand new 016 seat, driver's one, just sitting here, waiting to be installed on my car. And before you know it, just like that, it's in and installed. From a better angle. And a few minutes before installing the new front seat, I already had previously installed the whole rear seat. It was a lot easier than it looks. All you do for the actual rear seat bench, you just pull up on both sides. Pull up on the left side, then go around the car, pull up on the right side, the whole thing just comes right off. And for the actual rear upper part of the seat, you just simply fold down both uh, upper parts of the seat and take off that black bracket. You unscrew one black screw, then you take off the black bracket under the, basically that's held in by that screw. And then you just simply 
pull uh, in the opposite direction of the seats. Let's say you're doing the left seat, you pull it to the right. You're doing the right seat, you pull it to the left. And the whole thing comes out. It took me less than five minutes to do it. And now, the seats I have in my garage are the old stock seats. Then, a week passed by, and I still have not received shipment of my front passenger side seat. I did try calling them and seeing where my front passenger side seat was, and uh, they didn't really give too much information. They said, yeah, it's coming, but they didn't say how and when. So naturally, I just decided to just show up there and begin to complain. So... Exactly seven days later. Well, back here again, guys. Back here again. I even parked in the exact same parking spot as I did the first time around. I went to the sales office and spoke to the same salesman that I dealt with last time. And he told me that how uh, this patched the, uh, you know, parts remover guy ASAP. So after waiting it for, you know, about half an hour or so, uh, the parts uh, remover guy, he radioed to us saying that, um, oh, come here and take a look at the car. Uh, it was kind of impossible for him to take out the seat because the, the screws where they were in the car, uh, the car was so, you know, imploded that he couldn't get to the screws very easily and therefore he couldn't take out the seat without cutting the seat rail apart. Then we had a second parts remover guy there and he was saying to me, oh, you know, why do you want the seat? The airbag engine has blown. Uh, you're going to have to repair it. It's going to have a lot of issues, basically. Just forget about it. And they're going to order me a new one off a different car. And from a different scrapyard. I instantly knew that the second guy was just trying to, you know, forget about the seat and try to get me a different seat because of the fact that it was so difficult for them to take out and they didn't want to go through the hassle of doing it which was uh you know kind of wrong in their in their case they should have you know maybe thought a little bit more smarter of a way to do it without exerting too much force and you know working too hard the number one problem we had was that the actual interior door card was kind of in the way of pushing the seat all the way forward so we did try to pull up on the interior dash door card. So it's kind of out of the way, but it wasn't fully out of the way. It was kind of out of the way a tiny bit, and the seat still wasn't going all the way forward in order for us to remove the rear screws. So what the workers at the scrapyard should have done in order to help out the customer and give better customer service was to think outside the box and to completely remove the door card basically just remove all the trim pieces and expose all the screws those i think 25 uh, millimeter torque screws and screw all the torque screws holding the door card in pop the door card off unhinge it off the door door and remove it off the door and that way you'll be able to now push the seat all the way forward exposing the rear screws and they could just easily unscrew it off. Instead of doing all this stuff for me and helping me out, they just decided to just, you know, forget about it, leave it be, and not give me the seat. So I was out one seat, and I went back to the sales office to complain about this issue, you know, oh, you know, I'm missing one seat, I need to get one seat, what can we do about this? Can you find me one from a different local scrapyard and have it shipped up to my house? Uh, so they did look online for me to locate one seat, and guess what? They were unable to locate one seat for me that matched the uh, other seats. They could find other seats, obviously, that would match, but the seat that I needed that would match, they couldn't find it. So I was SOL, basically. I just got a small little refund and headed back to Toronto. And this was the last time I saw this car. Bye-bye, car. Bye-bye. After that, it was the weekend, so all the scrapyards were closed, so that means I couldn't uh, go to a different scrapyard and look for more seats. So I let the weekend pass by and hoped 
I would go somewhere on Monday afternoon and look for more seeds. So the very next Monday, I headed out to the third scrapyard. Back on the freeway, we're heading out to the third scrapyard out in Fort Erie, Ontario. Basically just south of Niagara Falls, Ontario. So here we go, we'll go there and try our luck. The food vlog guys is back. Chicken shawarma on a pita, mm -mm. Well guys, Fort Erie, Fort Erie, we finally made it. We're almost there. At four point, I think it's just eight kilometers. Well guys, looks like we're here. Miller's, auto recycling. Well, I just arrived and parked and feeling very anxious to pick up Volkswagen parts. I've been here once before, over five years ago, to pick up some Volkswagen side mirrors. The Mark VI Jetta, of which we're going to be taking out the front seat out of, is the second one in this picture. Ah, nothing like seeing tons of car parts all the way as far as the eye can see. So, a little bit after inquiring about the car, they had a sales rep take me out to the scrapyard and actually show me the car as well as the actual interior of the car, you know, primarily the passenger side of it and also the passenger seat. And as you can see in this picture, no airbag from the seats has been deployed, neither the front drivers nor the front passenger side. So I saw that it was in very good condition and the airbag wasn't deployed, which was an added extra basically. So I said, yep, go ahead, build me up for the seat. And so I got it. After heading back out to the sales office at the front of the place, they basically gave me the whole story. You know how it is, they tell you, oh, it's very close to closing time. We're not gonna have time to pull the parts out for you and you're not authorized to go ahead and pull the parts out yourself uh, due to, you know, legal reasons, insur no insurance reasons, basically. And, you know, they might think you might steal something or trash the place, so they won't let you do anything, basically. To make a long story short, they basically just told me, come back tomorrow, at which point, you know, we're talking here now in Niagara Falls area, Fort Erie, which is about two hours worth of driving. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I told them, hey, listen, please ship my parts to my home address. To which point they said, uh, we don't ship to home addresses, sir. So I had to give them a local body shop's place uh, address. However, it became very clear that this clearly wasn't their slogan. Buy it today and they'll ship it out tomorrow. Well, guess what? I bought it today, but they never actually shipped it out tomorrow. They shipped it out the day after tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Well, guys, we're in luck. I just got a phone call saying my parts, uh, my new seats basically from the Mark VI Jetta, the new face of seats. They just arrived today at the uh, auto mechanics place here in my neighborhood, all the way from Niagara Falls, Ontario slash Fort Erie, Ontario. Oh my goodness. So let's go inside now have a quick look at them here they are as it turned out to be i actually also needed the uh, passenger side rear top seat piece because my current one the armrest part was broken so i got a whole new piece but they made me buy the whole rear section of it so i bought the whole rear section well, that's one way to load seats into a jetta they're there brand new mp6 now what we can do is install them. Well, we finally got there, guys. We finally got them. It was about time. All right, guys. And this ends our story time. And we're here now again at the end of the video, several days after initially starting my search on these uh, Face of Jetta seats. And uh, I got to tell you, man, it was a hell of an experience and a hell of a journey. But at the end, we finally got there and we finally got the seats. And also we installed everything just fine. It took roughly about half an hour, 20 minutes install time to install all five pieces. The driver's seat, front passenger seat, the rear uh, seat bench, the left hand seat upper, and the right hand seat upper. 
So yeah, about 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. We had all the tools already bought from previous years of, uh, you know, working on Volkswagen. So the M10 triple head square tool was already in my uh, toolbox, basically. And the M8 for the rear, same thing, so. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the big reveal. Here it is. All right, guys, as always, I deeply appreciate you guys for watching. Please like this video if you actually liked it and like the outcome. And also don't forget to subscribe as this new YouTube guidelines stipulate that you need a minimum of a thousand subscribers. So if you guys could help me reach a thousand subscribers, that would be greatly, highly appreciated. Okay, guys? Anyways, take care. Have a good day. Deuces, guys.